What did I say yesterday about not having a white Christmas? Woke up to this this morning. Yeah. I'd say good morning, but it's not. It's good afternoon. It's uh, it's almost three o'clock, and I still got my orders to pull. I got five orders to pull, and I'm rushing a little bit because I gotta get these pulled and then uh, run them over to the post office. So I'm gonna I'm gonna fly through these. We've got twelve lots, five lots, seventy-two lots. That'll be the big one. One lot and uh, one lot. So nothing major. Just this third one will, will probably take about I don't know fifteen minutes or so. Um, but just to answer a question, I saw a comment from yesterday's uh, video about how I should wear shoes when pulling orders. And yesterday it caught me because I came downstairs and I was got, grabbed my coffee, came downstairs and realized I didn't have my shoes on. But then I realized I only had two small orders. So I was being lazy yesterday, I didn't go up. I got shoes on today. So I typically have shoes on all time, all day. All the time so uh yeah this morning has been been kind of crazy i still feel all right i'm a little tired i went to bed late last night got up early wife uh she got the diagnosis yesterday from the visit to urgent care she's got influenza type a which is the uh respiratory so that's why she's hacking up along and <laughs> body sores and stuff but so far i haven't gotten it my uh older son his girlfriend got it who came with us to dinner on Monday night or Sunday night. So, uh, but he's okay. So I don't know. I was talking with daddy O'Bricks yesterday and his wife was sick and, uh, but he was fine. So I was just saying that, you know, it's the, uh, superior male, uh, immunity system that, uh, is keeping this at bay for all of us. Hey bud, you gonna come pull orders? All right. It's all, all you, there you go. No? Okay. Lazy butt. Anyways, uh, I did get my workout in already today. I had a all-hands meeting at work. And so uh, I put the meeting up on the, on, the, on the treadmill and did half an hour on that while doing that. So killed two birds with one stone. Um, had, to run, had to run some errands today for my wife. Get some lunch for her. Do some other things. Get chicken for the dogs. And then... Um, yeah, so here I am. I'm finally, it's now, what, 2.47? And I'm finally getting these orders pulled. So get these pulled and get them to the post office quickly. Just finished pulling the third order here, the Brick Lake order, which was uh, 387 items and 72 lots. And it's a lot of light bluish gray. So I'm glad I'm doing the, uh, um, what is it, the 007 car um, today. Just going to start that today. But uh, I did get a note from the customer who um, was telling me what they're building, which I thought I think is awesome. So I'm building the E3 Century AWACS plane for my nephew. For the last six years, he's been an Air Force mechanic for this plane. He works at Tinker Air Force Base in Oklahoma. And thanks for having so many parts that I needed. So let me show you what uh, AWACS, the Century E3, E2, what is it, E2 or E3, Century AWACS is uh, one of those big, you know, the radar dishes on top of the plane that fly around, give early warning uh, to our troops. And I think I found the rebrickable um, plane that he's building here. So I think that's what he's building. It's uh, how many parts? 1,700 parts. So, so I think that was that was pretty cool. So thanks for sharing. All right, I'm heading to the post office. It's four o'clock. No, 420. It's 420. Oh, yep. I don't know if this is gonna work or not. But I just bounced out of the garage. So I've got my five orders done. Um, right as I was packing everything up, I got a sixth order and then a follow-up email quickly thereafter asking if the uh the package would get there by christmas eve which i replied to her and said no it will not i said i don't know if it'll arrive by christmas eve the usps deadline is december 16th so um but then i felt started feeling bad and i was about to head to the post office anyways and the order was only uh eight lots nine items oh come on 
keep slipping. And uh, anyways, let me just hold. Anyways, I decided to pull it and I'm taking it to the post office. And so I sent her a follow-up email and said, hey, in the spirit of Christmas, uh, I'm pulling your, I've pulled your order and I'm running it to the post office right this second. So hopefully, uh, you know, she appreciates that. And hopefully she gets it in time. It's uh, going to Virginia. So New York to Virginia by Saturday. It's Tuesday now. There's a good chance she, she could get it. I can't guarantee it though. I, I told her, uh, send it to me. The other thing she said is like the email on the account is my husband's and I was like well just FYI your husband got a uh, order confirmation email already just so you know <laughs> um yeah it's funny I thought that was funny um let's see what else anything else I wanted to talk today a little bit about um it's just so frustrating new new the new sellers that are are coming on board I mean they're just coming in droves too right um but they always post somewhere and yesterday it was Reddit. They post, someone post posted on Reddit. New new seller open for three weeks has forty five hundred parts, four hundred and eighty lots, and can't understand why they don't have an order. I just I just shake my head at that one. Um, this is not like you just can't like throw a couple bricks up on Bricklink and expect orders. You just you just can't you've got to have thousands of unique lots it's it's a chore it's a it's a job to to get orders um you just it's it's not a get rich quick scheme it definitely isn't um and with so many people jumping on these days it's just it's a lot different than when when we when i started back in 2017 back in 2017 i had 300 parts and I, I got an order so I can't tell you you know I can't say or nobody could say you know, how many parts you need but I think the best thing to do for a new seller and I've said this before in, in a feedback uh, video before what for users who are asking to get their first feedback the best thing you can do is shop build something figure out how users are are using the site how are you going to to source your parts? How do you want to source your parts? And uh, I think you'll get an idea that the the buyers are they want uh, to minimize the number of stores that they're using to minimize the shipping costs. The shipping costs are double what they were when I started in 2017. Um, but you know they're looking to find the stores, even if the prices are a little bit higher. They're, they want to find the stores where they can get the most parts at once. Except for the one order I had today, which was two lime green slopes for nine cents. So that one, I just that just doesn't make sense to me. You know what else I, I found? And I guess I didn't realize this, but uh, that nine cent order had 36 cents in tax. So obviously taxes, uh, you're being taxed on shipping as well, which I, I was... I was like, holy crap, Bricklink's charging tax on shipping. And then I went and read the rules on that. And yes, shipping is a taxable taxable service that can um, that can be charged in very differently in various states. So and that that's a crappy rule if you if I ever said so. I ever thought so. So it's just been a crazy day. My wife's still, uh, she's just laid up on the couch, sicker than a dog. Thankfully, I haven't gotten sick, knock on wood. Uh oh, there's no wood. Um, great, now I'm going to get sick because I said that. But uh, <laughs> as long as we don't get sick together, because that would just be painful. We've, we've gotten the flu together before, and that was just, that was just pure hell. That's been, it's been many years. 15 years or, or longer it was uh it was i remember it was right after the super bowl where uh um uh, janet jackson's um dress came apart um because of justin timberlake doing so how long ago was that 15 20 years has been 20 years anyways so 
yeah, I'm going to drop this off. Hopefully I get there and back before 5 o'clock traffic hits. It's 4.30 now. Last time I went to the... I ran to the post office like quarter to 5. And it was it was a nightmare getting out. So it doesn't look bad yet. So fingers crossed. And then I got to figure out what we're going to do for dinner tonight. So I did run over to Panera's for, for lunch. We don't really have anything in the... In the, in the house yet for for me to even make anything so I don't know my wife's not very hungry yesterday I went to um, I went out and watched I went out for about an hour and watched a football game and uh, had a mediocre dinner by myself so then came home and uh, took care of her for a while alright well I am at the post office now so um, yeah let me know your thoughts. I'll head back and uh, I'm probably just going to take a rest for a little bit. I'll pro- I'm Jones in the place some video games for a little bit and then um, I'll probably make dinner and then probably then work on that uh, 007 car part out. All right. It was at this moment that he knew. We'll target! Friendlies are securing objective Bravo 1. We are at the disadvantage, but this fight is a boss yet. After that, it's a secure Charlie sector. Good morning. It's uh, Wednesday, December 20th. Got three orders. Very, very small orders. I think there's only nine items total in these three orders. So, here's the first couple just collectible minifigures. A bunch of those have been going out the last couple of days. I am not 100%. I am not like 0% like my wife was the last few days. She's actually doing better. She's uh, still pretty sick, but um, she's up and moving around at least today. It's been a tough couple of days. Um, uh, just, you know, running the house, get, making sure I'm working, getting orders pulled. Um, there's a lot on my shoulders. And so, uh, yeah, so we didn't get a video out yesterday. So we're going to combine yesterday and today. Uh, yeah, I still haven't broken up into those. It, just how it is. We've got a couple uh, Amazon packages. Those are, that's the uh, microphone and boom that's going to go on my desk. I haven't even cracked that open. I've had that for a couple of days now. So, yeah, things have just been pretty slow around here the uh, last few days. So let's see. Let's pull this one. 6981. So let's get this chair all the way. Six nine eight one. That's gonna be down here. One of these. What's the next one? Six nine eight nine. Back down here again. Last one. Let's pull the drawer. I've got to do something with these drawers. I think today I'm just gonna pause parting out because I'm not getting through drawers quick enough. And uh, like find drawers like this and just part them out and put them in separate drawers just to use up some of these drawers because after today like I've got this much space and I'm like I've run out of room on the on the table I gotta get through some of these drawers they're piling up faster and I can fill them went through a couple cabinets and uh, just spread out the, the parts here so I was looking for drawers that had multiple parts in the drawer all mixed together and so I unmixed them and I got about a column and a half freed up, so I guess that's good. And uh, yeah, I'll stop there for today and do some more later. <sighs> All right. Open up these boxes and see what's in them. Now, I 
assume this one's the boom mic, or the boom, or the mic, which is the arm that just extends over your desk, and puts the microphone in front of your face. Yep, big box, oh, twice as big as it needed to be. Professional studio arm. That's actually quite heavy. All right, another box. This should be the mic itself and some smart plugs that work with five hertz instead of the two hertz that my current ones do. And since we changed the Wi-Fi, we cannot get those set up. There we go. This should be a pack of four, I think. Yep, four. And then here's the here's the mic. The Sure MV7 podcast microphone. Works with USB and I think regular audio XLR audio. Um, uh, cables, but I'm just going to use the USB. So, all right. I definitely want to get these set up first because I can't even shut those lights off unless I walk in and <laughs> push a button. So I'm going to get those set up first for the for the shop. It was at this moment that he knew. Hey, it's Thursday afternoon, December 21st. I've got four orders to pick. I am uh, just, I'm about at it. <laughs> I'm getting uh, sicker and sicker as as the time goes on. Um, I'm pretty much out of energy. So I'm gonna try to get through this as fast as possible. It ain't gonna be, it ain't gonna be quick, that's for sure. But I've closed my store already, and um, yeah, as soon as I get those four done, I am going to be relaxing. So this will probably be the last video for a while. I've strung the last three together, three days together, just because it's been it's been tough. Uh, just been getting sicker and sicker. I do want to show you the <clears throat> the arm. I got the arm up. My uh, yeah, look at. That's pretty cool. It sounds pretty good too. I'll have to demo it at some point. So, haven't done exercising since Monday, Tuesday. I did. I did do the treadmill on Tuesday. I didn't do anything yesterday, and I'm probably not gonna do anything today. I just don't have the energy for it. So, close up the store. Pull. Try to pull these orders as quickly as possible, so that it's done and they're out the door. And then the store is closed now. And uh, I'm. I'm rambling now so I'll let you go thank you and I uh, hope everybody has a good Christmas because I probably won't shoot any video until I'm better so all right then well wait this isn't the end of the video there's more we got to tell about the society Joining the Brick Separator Society gets you access to secret society videos like how to videos on how to run your business on BrickLink and Brick Owl and eBay, as well as Ask Ralph videos and maybe our sales reports. You might see all of our numbers. Join today.